you can hear, this switch has seen better days. Well, it's gonna be replaced and bear with me and you also can be an expert in how to replace five-way switches on Stratocasters. So, we're gonna need a few tools for this operation. First of all, we need a new five-way switch. This is a USA-made five-way switch and I'm gonna give you the exact explanation of how these work. A string winder, screwdriver, a small cutter for the electronics, big cutter for strings, a new set of strings, and some wire. Uh, this is a pushback wire. We really like using those, and of course, our soldering kit. I really recommend for this first step to remove the back plate. It will make our lives much easier when removing strings and installing new strings afterwards. There's only one way for us to reach this five-way switch. The way is to unscrew every pickguard screw and lift the pickguard off the guitar, like so. Very gently and all is revealed. This is a five-way switch. It's an American five-way switch. Re really recommend you only use the American high-quality five-way switches. As you can see, we have four connection points over here, and on the other side, we have four more. Each four, or each row, is a pole. We have two poles. Those two poles are not connected yet, but they work exactly the same. So I'll show you using this pole so you could understand how this switch works. This point here touches this metal plate over here. And it keeps touching this plate no matter in which position I'm in. The other three points only touch this metal plate. Very specific points, very specific positions. When I'm in this position, for instance, this point touches this metal plate, which conducts the electricity to reach this leg over here. And this is how it works, it's really, really simple. It's only connects and disconnects points. Now I'll take you step by step to wire this switch on your guitar. I'd really like to protect the finish of this guitar before we get started, so I'm using this masking tape. Remove the cap, unscrew. Those two screws over here. And we flip the pick guard over and using this electronics cutter, I'll cut the leads that come from the pickups and connect to the switch. There are three leads over here, three wires. It'd be one, two, three. I have three other li uh, 
wires that are connected. This is not connected at all, just maybe why we had some problems before. And I'll disconnect this wire that is connected to the tone and another wire that's connected to the volume. And it's out. Okay, let's insert the new five-way switch through the hole and gently screw it back into place. Perfect. Okay, now we'll be using a new wire and I'll wire it from each common, this common point right here and the other common on the other side right here. And I'll connect them like so. And to the other common on the other side. Now that the two commons are connected, it would be uh, really easy for me to connect the tone potentiometers to uh, the switch and make them work exactly as it should. To help me connect properly to the right point, I'll move the switch to the neck position and I'll see which connection point is now connected to the common, as I've shown you before. And I see that this point right here is the one that works when the switch is in the neck position. So I'll take the neck pickups wire and solder it to this point. Now I'll do the same with the middle pickup. As you can see, now this point is connected and we'll push back the cloth and insert the wire over here. like so. Okay. Now I do the same for the bridge position. I'll put the switch in the bridge position and check that this point is actually connected now to the common and I'll solder this wire to this point. Like so. Now I need to solder that wire that comes from the volume potentiometer and wire it to this position this connection point over here. In order to connect the tone potentiometer, the neck pickup potentiometer, I'll solder this wire that comes from this potentiometer 
to this connection point and solder it over here. Now, for the tone of the middle pickup, we'll solder it right here. If you wish to install this tone to work with the middle position and the bridge position, all we need to do is make a connection between this point and this point. So we'll use a piece of wire, and expose it a bit, solder one point over here, wait a second for it to dry and cool off, and Connect the other side to this point. Now, the bridge position will work with the same tone as the middle position. Okay. Got this part over. It's time to put everything back together. And gently place the pick guard back to its place. And screw the pick guard. as it was before. Placing the cap back on and we have a new switch on the guitar. We can actually check it and see that everything we did works properly without uh, stringing the guitar. I'll insert the cable into the instrument and use a screwdriver and see by tapping on the pickups that all positions work properly. Hooray! Everything works perfectly. This is a new switch. Like us and subscribe to our channel if you like us and want to subscribe to our channel. All the best guys.